And now, WNEM TV 5 Sports. High school hockey is back this week with several schools taking the ice for the first time tonight. As Jason Fielder tells us, the goalie isn't the only one wearing a mask for safety this season. I mean, it's really exciting to get back, and I mean, it's a game we love. After months of being benched because of the coronavirus, the Saginaw Heritage hockey team takes the ice to play a game for the first time in almost a year. We actually did a lot. We did the, um, the rally at the Capitol, and that sort of gave us hope. And so we sort of got, we had that anticipation before going into this week. For Heritage, playing a competition means just a little more. Their last game was a triple overtime state quarterfinal win on March 7th. One week later, just as they were getting ready for their state semifinal contest, the hockey season was paused and later canceled because of COVID. I don't think really it's about the wins and losses right now. I think the win is that the kids actually get to play. And, you know, because you know, I didn't really think the season was going to happen. But now that it actually is here, like this last week, I've been very excited about practice, game, and again, to see where we're at as a team. Once again, there are high expectations for this Heritage hockey team. They are ranked number two in the state by the Michigan High School Coaches Association. Reporting in Midland, I'm Jason Fielder for TV5 Sports. And, of course, that was Jason Fielder talking there. How about, uh, how about the game here? Heritage facing Midland at the Midland Civic Arena. First period, Hawks turn the puck over in their own end. It's Ryder Zastrow here. Uh, great feed to Cole Carpenter, who buries it. The sophomore makes it one to nothing. Later, Heritage with a great chance here. Ethan Hawk makes a, a move, another one here. His shot is stuffed by the goalie. He's not happy about it. But he's happy with the result as Heritage wins it by the score of four to two. All right, Flip Powers hosting Midland Dow. Dow has had uh, Powers' number here in recent years. Second period, no score until Dow lights the lamp on the rush. Billy Van Summer in here finds the back of the net to make it a one-zip Dow lead. Later in the second period, it's Powers getting even on the power play. It's Mason Zar Zarnicki here flipping it home from the circle to make it a one-one game. Then just a few moments later, Powers will take the lead off the turnover. Ryan Lemker here feeds Brendan Tarpening. He shoots, he scores. And the Powers Chargers would end up beating the Dow Chargers 2-1. to one. Oh, it felt great, you know. We can deal with the mask wearing them and stuff. I mean, it's not the best, but we enjoy it. And just to be able to play the game, you know, that's all, all we want to do. Oh, it just felt great to be back with the boys and playing the game we all love. Um, We'll deal with the mask and we'll just keep rolling this season.